hello students so in this video i am going to explain the rectification chapter and this video is in english so who are not much comforted in this language you can also watch this same lecture in telugu language i'll give you the link in the description box below so few of our subscribers uh, ask me to do the videos in english as well so, so firstly the chapter name is error rectification of errors okay so firstly we should know the meaning of error what is meant by error it it is an unintentional mistake okay it is an unintentional mistake the mistake done unknowingly okay when the mistake is done unknowingly or unintentionally then those errors can be rectified okay if suppose the mistake done intentionally mistake done intentionally then those mistakes are known as frauds okay so when the mistakes done unintentionally then those can be rectified how they can be rectified is the subject firstly i want to recollect the topic of the process of recording in the books of accounts uh, if you are very familiar with these topics please do not skip the video please watch it it is for only 10 minutes and we will jump to the main concept so firstly i want to say to you is the process of recording in the books of account the process of recording so firstly the business transactions must be recorded in the books of accounts okay even the worth of rupees 1 also must be recorded in the books of accounts so first uh, business transaction happened that must be recorded in the books of accounts how it can be recorded means by the way of journal entries so journal entries are recorded in the book called journal okay and some some transactions may be recorded in journal and the, the other transactions can be recorded in the subsidiary books subsidiary books and from this the journal entries are transferred to the book called ledger and here the posting will be done and after this ledger posting the balances are carried forward to the trial balance and from this trial balance the final accounts is prepared this is the process that we have been learning from the very earlier classes right so here i want to explain a few topics about this journal and subsidiary books so the subsidiary books and journal firstly we are keeping aside this journal topic and we will mainly focus on the subsidiary books say with me how many types of subsidiary books are there how many types there are seven types right what are they purchase book and next sales book see these in these books the only the entries are recorded not the posting okay next purchase return book sales return book and bills receivable book bills payable book and last one is the cash book this cash book is the subsidiary book as well as the this cash book is the subsidiary book as well as the principal book both the recording and posting can be done in this cash book itself okay in the purchase book what items are recorded say with me those uh, items which are recorded in the purchase book are goods brought by credit right brought by credit and sales book means goods sold on credit sold on credit basis okay and the purchase return book records the purchases which are um, brought by credit where suppose if they are returned then those entries are recorded in this purchase return sales return means goods which are sold on credit if suppose the customer returns to us then we will record in this sales return book the receivables i mean the bills receivables are recorded in this bills receivable book and the bills payables are recorded in this bills payable book all the cash transactions must recorded in, in this cash book okay and the other entries other entries means what i mean uh, the opening entries closing entries adjustment entries these such entries are recorded in the book called journal okay if you are clear with this now we can jump to the rectification of errors chapter okay The first error is goods purchased rupees one lakh from Sham, but recorded in the books as rupees thousand. 
is a is there any error in this transaction see the goose purchased from sham from rupees 1 lakh but we recorded in the books as rupees 1000 it is an error right so how we can rectify this error means just draw an extract of the trial balance this is not the trial balance but i am drawing an extract okay these columns are debit columns and these are credit columns okay and now what is the entry for the goods purchased from sham purchases account debit to sham account so here uh, just assume this is the debit column and this is the credit column for the trial balance we won't uh, put this debit credit like this but still for your understanding i have kept like that so here the purchase account how much rupees this is the correct entry ma okay this is the correct entry purchase account in purchase so here how much the amount rupees 1 lakh okay purchase account debit to sham account how much rupees 1 lakh so this is the correct entry and now what is the wrong entry that they have returned uh, goods purchase for rupees 1000 purchase account 1000 sham to sham 1000 so this is the correct entry and this is the wrong entry see in the purchase correct entry must be recorded as one lakh but here we uh, in the wrong entry they have written as thousand how much more we must add to reach one lakh ninety nine thousand if we add ninety nine thousand it will come to one lakh which is the correct entry so what is the rectification entry purchase account how much rupees 90,000 to 99,000 sorry to sham account how much 99,000 then this is the rectification entry this is the rectification entry for this uh, for this error um, purchases account debit purchases account debit to sham account to sham account how much rupees 99,000 okay the another example is goose sold to madhu rupees 9000 but recorded in the sales book as rupees 10000 so how we can rectify this entry means just draw an extract of the trial balance like this and here the left column is the debit side and here the right side is the credit side okay what they said is good sold to madhu rupees 9000 which is correct but they recorded in the sales book as rupees 10000 which is wrong they have increased rupees 1000 and they recorded as wrongly in the sales book now what is the correct entry uh, we have sold goods to madhu so what is the correct entry madhu account debit to sales account madhu account so 9000 rupees sales 9000 rupees okay this is the correct entry but what they have written as a wrong entry madhu to sales but they have written the wrong amount as 10000 okay 10000 which is wrong entry now we have to rectify that how we how we can rectify it the madhu in the madhu account the amount that should be recorded as 9000 but wrongly they recorded as 10000 so if we less uh, rupees 1000 from the wrong entry then the correct entry will come that is rupees 9000 so from the madhu account we should less rupees 1000 okay and even from the sales account also we should reduce rupees thousand so that it it will be rectified we can write the rectification entry means um, so madhu account is in the debit side right so madhu account is where debit side so to in order to less rupees thousand credit the madhu by thousand so now see the entry here The rectification entry is we should uh, credit the madhu account by rupees thousand to madhu account why we are crediting it because to less less rupees thousand from the madhu account and we should uh, debit this sales account rupees thousand this is in the credit column now so if if we write this in the debit column automatically this thousand rupees will get will get reduced so sales account debit 1000 okay did you understand uh, sales account debit 1000 to madhu account 1000 
students i am giving you one question you have to rectify this error and you have to tell me the answer in the comment section below what i have given the question is rama purchased goods worth rupees 110 but recorded in the books that means in the purchase book he had recorded it as 1110 rupees how we can rectify this entry okay you have to tell the answer in the comment section below okay ma now so now the another error is the total of purchase book was undercasted by rupees 90 so here there is an error in the totaling of the purchase book what is that error means the purchase book total was undercasted by rupees 90 how we can rectify this means firstly we should know that purchase book so purchases have the debit balances okay and sales have sales have the credit balances and purchase returns okay purchase return book have which balance ma credit balance okay purchase returns have credit balance whereas sales returns have debit balance okay please note it so now the total of the purchase book was undercasted by rupees 90 na so purchase book uh, so the balance of purchase book is what debit balance right so in order uh, so the debit balance is undercasted by rupees 90 in order to rectify this we have to increase the debit balance of the purchase book by rupees 90 if we increase it then the error got cancelled so how we should write this we have to increase the purchase book by rupees 90 so purchases account purchases account debit 92 so here in the credit plus we have nothing to write so in this so in this type of questions we have to simply write the suspense account although the suspense account is not used every time uh, i will mention you where to use and where to not use but up to now use this as account rupees 90 so here there is another error the total of sales book was overcasted by rupees 1000 uh, when the sales book was total it is overcasted by rupees 1000 this is an error now we have to rectify it how we can rectify means sales book sales book or sales account has credit balance so this credit balance have overcasted by how much rupees by rupees 1000 this is where this is the wrong entry now we have to rectify this how we can rectify this uh, if it is overcasted we have to less the sales account rupees 1000 how so we have to less it by rupees how much by rupees 1000 in order to less it simply debit it okay here if we if we credit it the balance even get in so now we have to debit it to less to less the rupees 1000 okay this is the rectification now how we can write as an entry the sales book uh, was overcasted now so we have to simply write it in the debit column that uh, debit side that is sales account debit uh, rupees 1000 to here there is no chance to write some some name or some account so simply write as suspense account to suspense account rupees 1000 So here there is an another error. Uh, the question is the total of purchase return book was undercasted by rupees hundred. The purchase return book total was undercasted by rupees hundred. Okay. Now how we can rectify this? So for this question, I want the answer from you students. So please comment down this answer in the comment section below. Uh, I'll see it and I'll check the answers as well.